Hey everyone, it's Brick Power Build, and I'm here with another Avengers Infinity War set review. I am reviewing the 76104 The Hulkbuster Smash Up. Finally, we get an updated version of the Hulkbuster from the Age of Ultron one, which I actually don't have. So when I heard they were making a new one, I was really happy because I didn't get to get the Age of Ultron one. But so yeah, I'm happy. So let's dive right into the minifigs. So we'll start off with Bruce Banner. So I like this one because you get like a normal torso and face for him if you just want to have a normal Bruce Banner and not the Hulk minifig. But yeah, norm normal hair piece. I'm pretty sure this is the same one for the Thor Ragnarok sets, but nice to have. And he's got his, of course, turning into the Hulk green eyes and all that. So yeah, that's cool. Here is the Falcon, and this is a new version of him, and this is much better than the Civil War version. So his Civil War just had a molded wings, but this one actually is brick built. I know they might look a bit big, but they work better, because in the movies they are supposed to move like this, and all that. And he is supposed to have like a giant jetpack, so this is definitely a great version of the Falcon. He's got great printing at the front. Wish all of Approximate Midnight, Falcon, and Bruce Banner actually had printing on the legs. That would have been cool, but that's okay. He also comes with his, with his little drone, see? So it, it flies up, which is nice to have in this. And he's got the one with his goggles on. And then I have to put his head around here. He's got a nice smile. So yeah, now that is it for the for Falcon. Now let's get to Proxim Midnight, and this is another great minifig. She's part of the uh, Thanos's. Can't don't remember the name, like Knight something, but she looks great with a brand new blue kind of hair piece. Got this random <laughs> big weapon staff thing. Wish she had printing on the legs. That would have been great, but nice printing there. Golden arm. I kind of wish there was like gold along here to continue the shoulders and all of that, but that's okay. Got the face. She's got a smile and an angry face. Nice printing at the back. So that is it for her. And we also get another Outrider. Very happy. Really. I think these guys are actually awesome. Um, exactly the same as the other Outriders. No difference at all. So just got a little spin. Got these. Four arms, of course, and um, it's really good to have another one if you want to make an army. Personally, I do want to make an army because thinking of future marks, I don't know, mark things for these dudes. So you have to watch the movie first to get ideas, but so far, thinking about it. That's it for the minifix, now let's dive right into the set. So, so here is the Hulk Buster, and my, okay, now... Off the bat, this is much better than the Age of Ultron one. In the movie, I was really happy, love the Age of Ultron one, but in Lego, this is a much better one. I looked it on YouTube, this looks much better, sleeker, and just overall looks better. It's got it's got a lot of stickers to the set. Got two stickers here, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, and sticker here sticker here and I think that's all that's, that's a lot of stickers for this dude so his arms move around the place so I like how you can do whatever you want with the arms and that can fall off so <laughs> that, that's good that's... <laughs> yeah but he's got these little feet so you can move them around like that look at the back and he's got this which moves one of his arms like this so you can do like a super so it's smash up. This is called the Hulkbuster smash up. So you can, I don't know, I don't know, get an outrider. You can like, or something like that. But so we just take another three sixty degree spin. I'm not a big fan of the back along here. Probably they should have added um probably dark red. But I think it's fine. I don't mind about this. But if we open it, we can open it like this, and there's no minifig. But now. Bruce Banner will be controlling the Hulkbuster, and he fits nicely in there. Brand new head, dome head, which is nice. But yeah, that's 
Well, that's pretty much it for this minifig, where you can move his legs like that. Yeah, that's it. I like how they have so much playability with this character, because he's just an awesome Iron Man suit. So here is the cannon that comes for the bad guys, and I do like it for this set that isn't a lot of money. They actually come with a good guy thing and a bad guy thing, so if you want to have like a battle thing. But... Yeah, so it's got this thing so you can fire out like that. I'm glad it's not like a stud shooter. But that's great. It's not a stud shooter. But so we take a look at this. Got a sticker there. Um, sticker over there. Got a nice Nexo Knight shield in purple. Go at the back. I, you can see a lot of Technic, which isn't that good, but it's okay. We go at the back. Open this. And it comes with... Infinity Gem, yes, which is exclusive to this set, and if you want to collect them all, you have to go all the sets, and that's what I'm trying to do right now, I'm missing two. And there's also a seat up here, so, get, I don't know, Outrider or Proxy Midnight, and, yeah, um, and you can put them on top of here, so you can change between these two and have them on top of here, and get the Hulkbuster, and you can be fighting just like that so that's the end of the review now let's get to the box the instructions and the final part of the video so here is the box nice um battle going on along here um they're in wakanda you can see from the trailers and all that but yeah now let's get to the back just showing all what can happen in this set Pretty good. Now let's get to the instructions. So here are the instructions, or the instruction for the set. Just the same as the box, but if we go at the back, which we all want to see, because it has the advertisements for more LEGO sets. Here they are. Got those two. Need. I think that's going to be the next video, should be Thor's Weapon Quest review, should be that one. Don't have this one, the Ultimate Battle. Was it final battle? I think it's ultimate battle. Looks like a good set. Bit overpriced over here where I am at. It's overpriced. I'm going to have to wait a while on that. Because I also want to get the Han Solo movie set. So I'm going to have to delay that set. And the and another Infinity War set for a while. But yeah, that's the end of this. Now let's get to the final part of the video. So overall, I think this is an amazing set. It's my second favorite set from the line. My favorite one, of course, is the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. But this set just gives you so much playability with anything like the Hulkbuster doing or um moving his arms and all that, so you have so much to do. Bad guy cannon, nice to have like a battle. Minifigs are all great. But yeah, I think this is a great set, I recommend it. And if and if you want to see more Infinity War sets or any other review, hit that like button. Why didn't you even subscribe to the channel so you can catch up with all my reviews and mock building? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.